that you may know the only true God and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. Who's thou? Thou is God. So Jesus was sent and I agree with what you're saying. Yeah, we need to believe in Jesus Christ. We have to follow his message. Yeah, we can't get to God by dis like not following what Jesus came with. No Muslim is a Muslim until they believe in Jesus Christ. All the messages of God. So, but he's not God. Because he never said, I am God. In fact, two ways to very easily articulate this. Is God all-knowing? Does God know everything? Yeah. Of course. What doesn't God know? God knows everything. But why did Jesus Christ give the miracles of like giving the blind people, uh, getting uh, sights, and also uh, to prove dead, dead people's are rare eyes? Why? Like Jesus gave them all the miracles things happen, right? You said a miracle. What is miracle? Miracles is by permission of God. Yeah. yeah. So he done these things to prove he's from God. Like why? Why? Moses, he okay, split the sea. Okay, fine. Noah, what did he do? Two by two on the boat. I have a question. Like, Go for why it. Jesus Christ should be crucified? That was my question. Why? Okay. Why God allowed him? Because he's a prophet. You have telling. So, but so, why so. God is telling Let me. I'm gonna. Him? If you give me five minutes, yeah, I'm gonna get to that point. But I don't want to go to that point now. I wanna. Because there is he also telling that. There, there I want to prove first. No, no. Yes, I'm gonna you know answer. That. We're gonna yeah, talk yeah. about crucifixion. But first, let me prove Jesus isn't God. Yeah, because in Mark 13, 32, he was asked about the hour. Jesus says that no one knows. He doesn't know. The angels don't know. Only the Father in heaven, God. So Jesus says, I don't know when the hour is. The angels don't know when the hour is. No man knows. The angels don't know. Only the Father in heaven, God Almighty. So you're saying Jesus is God. Jesus is saying um, he never said he's God. He never said it. You're saying Jesus, God has all knowledge. Jesus is saying he doesn't have all knowledge. But he said you have to. You want to come with my like through my Father. You have to come through me. Why he said? Like why? He I agree. Yeah, I yeah, agree. Yeah. That, Moses. That, Moses. Yeah, yeah. We, we believe that all are the Old Testament. Yeah. We now, are, we believe in like New Testament as well. We believe both. Right? In the time of Moses, you couldn't get to God Almighty, yeah, the creator of the heavens and the earth, without going through Moses. In the time of Abraham, you couldn't get to God without going through him. In the time of Jesus, you couldn't go to God without going through him. In the time of the Prophet Muhammad, to the end of times, because there's, he is the final messenger, there's no more prophets to come. Um, and because there's no more prophets to come, Allah, the creator of the heavens and the earth, has said he'll preserve the scripture. The Quran has been perfectly preserved. When Moses came, um, he came with monotheism. There's one, believe in one God. Yeah? Do good things, go to paradise. Evil deeds, go to hellfire. He died. Man-made elements went into it. Allah sent the messenger, Jesus. Jesus said, what? There's one God. Follow me. If you don't, um, good deeds will get you into paradise. Evil deeds will get you hellfire. He died. The message that came with him got changed, got corrupted. The final message that the Prophet Muhammad came. What did he say? There's one God. Worship him alone. Don't make any partners. Yeah? Do this is hellfire, do that is paradise. Yeah? Because there's no more messages to come, Allah has preserved the scripture, the scripture which is the Quran. This is the only revelation that claims to be from Allah. Allah says Allah will preserve it. Allah says Allah has made it easy to remember. You probably know many people have memorized the Quran word for word, letter for letter, dot for dot. Does it make sense? We have a carbon dated Quran from the lifetime of the Prophet Muhammad in a, Bir in a uni uh, university in Birmingham. Yeah? But I'm getting sidetracked. You want to talk about dying on the cross? I'm going to make my final point, which is 
can God have a God? He, he, also, he also told that he's the son of God. Why, why, why can God, God have a God? Answer is simple. No, he, he also told that he's the son. He's the son of God. We've already spoke about this. Yeah, yeah. There's a difference between son of God and God the son. He never said, I am God the son. Yeah? Son of God, and you've already agreed but that I, the disciples, whoever believes in God, are children of God. Yeah? Now, in the Bible, there's a very, very interesting verse. Yeah? And I'm sure you've heard it. When Mary Madeline comes to Jesus Christ and he says, um, I have not yet ascended to your father, to my father, to your God, to my God. Jesus Christ is saying to my God. Who is the God of Jesus Christ? Who is the God of God that you believe? I believe in Jesus Christ. But he's not God. Because how can God have a God? You said God has all knowledge. You said Jesus is God. Jesus didn't know when the hour is. He was hungry. He went to the fig tree. The disciples were hungry. They saw a fig tree. They're hungry. They went to the fig tree. But the fig was out of season. And Jesus cursed the tree. How can God see a tree? People around him are hungry. Let's go there. There's a fig tree there. Go there. There's no figs on it. And then he curses the tree. God will say, let there be fruits. Let there be figs. It's like he also provides the food like five. Uh, lo God, lo messengers of God done miracles. Yeah, miracles he has done. That's yeah, through the permission of God. Jesus Christ himself said, of my own free will, I can do nothing. Does that sound like God to you? He's on the cross. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? My Lord, my Lord, why have you forsaken me? Does that sound like God? Now, you see how I tied it up? Yeah, because you're talking about um, the sacrifice. We don't believe Jesus died on the cross. Yeah? Tell me, why does Jesus need to die on the cross? Why do you need something innocent? Something, in fact, who died on the cross? God or Jesus? Huh? Jesus. Is Jesus God? So God died on the cross. Yeah, for us. Okay. He sent the God by, by the God. God was dead for what three days and three nights. Who was looking after the universe when God died? When God died, how did he come back to life? You're saying, listen to yourself. You're saying Adam disobeyed God. He ate from the tree. Now because of Adam's sin, all of the children of Adam have got, are born with sin. Do you believe in baptism? Yeah. So that means, in the Baptist church for the viewers at home, yeah, they have two graveyards. One graveyard for people who were baptized. Other graveyard for babies, people who was not baptized. So what's the destination of every single person who died before Jesus died on the cross that you believe? What is the destination of every baby, every woman, every, everyone who died before they were baptized, before Jesus died on the cross? This is very problematic. I'm getting you worried now. Was he baptized? Yes, I baptized. Okay. So I'm, I'm getting excited. I don't mean to shout. <laughs> yeah. So I would like to hear your response. Because you asked me, why do I think Jesus died on the cross? I don't believe Jesus died on the cross. I do not believe an innocent man needs to die for the sins of mankind. Like I don't. Bible is written like fake. The people have sown them that they with Jesus Christ was crucified that day was people's are all the like they have the scene with air, their own eyes and they're written on the bible they are all the fake things so is the bible perfect is the mark is a fake you have showing that mark written this word Who? he was a fake he only saw the god or he saw the jesus christ was crucified he was a, he, that was a lie no right so i'm saying i i'm not gonna risk 
my eternity yeah, yeah, on, no, no, yeah, let me finish, on what Mark said, on what Luke said, on what John said, on what Matthew said. Because the four Gospels, who wrote it? These are anonymous authors. Tell me what the last name is. Prove to me they met Jesus. So you're saying in their account. Yeah? There is a proof like uh, some. Go on. Yeah, yeah. Go on. There is a proof like Thomas came to India as well. He's, there is a proof of there. He came for uh, like he came and preached the word of God as well. Why he should come to, go, to India and preach that. We have the proofs over there. He, have, he died over there. We have the proofs of all the things. Why? Why? He, he saw that like Jesus Christ was dead. First, he would not believe that Jesus Christ was not died. After Jesus Christ Just met him after arrived from three days, raised from the, from the dead, he go and he was afraid to see the Jesus. He was a, like, he was a devil like. No, sir. I'm a God. I'm, I'm, your, I'm, I'm your father. It See, depends sir, on I'm whose account, sir. You know, wait, wait. the first account, yeah, is very different to the last account of John. At the beginning, when you read through Mark, it's like there's four completely different interactions they've had. John is having, adding a more divine flavor. Yeah. And uh, Mark is a different thing. So my point is, just because someone claims something, it doesn't make it true. Do you believe the Bible has never been changed? It never changed. Yeah. Do you believe the Bible is perfect? Do you believe the Bible has man-made elements in it? There's no contradictions in it. Because your argument is, the people who wrote the Bible, the people in the Bible, um, they said it so it must be true. I'm saying, is the Bible true? Is the Bible, do you believe it to be perfect and flawless? Do you think there's man-made elements in it? Because if you're going to put, give authority to the Bible, then you need to come with some robust beliefs in it. Because the Bible doesn't claim to be from God. The Bible yeah, is from the opinion... Do you believe in that? I also believe in my... I'm my asking faith. you what you believe, yeah, yeah, sir. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm faith. I, I believe in my God. Thank you. You're giving me a precious time. Thank you so What's much. What's your name, sir? My name is Raj. Raj, yeah. my name is Ridwan. Just very quickly, just to finish the conversation. I, I don't, time, like I will have, I will I don't want to of offend shit. you. Shit. No, that's no, that's fine. fine. Otherwise, I will Can I give you a free translation of the Quran? Yeah, no worries. Before you go, very quickly, do you have any questions for me? No, 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 I don't. Yeah, I don't want to offend you, okay? No, 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 it's fine. Thank you yeah. so much. We're here every Saturday. If you've got any questions, come back. Yeah. Raj, thank you so much. Have a lovely day. Um, lovely conversation with Raj. Um, I think, unfortunately, sometimes um, the truth hurts when you're given some robust arguments and then you don't have a response. Uh, welcome, Raj. Come back, ask questions. Any kind of issues he may have or anything he couldn't really respond to look go research into it go speak to the church go and speak to the pastors and yeah really think critically and reconcile these issues because if jesus is god why doesn't he have all knowledge if jesus is god then how can he have a god if you're gonna say you believe in the blood sacrifice and you believe in um, Jesus dying on the cross for our sins then how do you reconcile the original sin how do you reconcile um, people who died before they were baptized these all kind of things I don't want to come across like aggressive or challenging but I'm full, and hopefully I didn't um, it's about actually thinking critically in regards to these elements and having sat, being satisfied with what's given by the creator of the heavens and the earth, Allah, that intellectually I'm satisfied, um, logically I'm satisfied. So that's me, my personal criteria. Allah says the Quran is from Allah and Allah will preserve it. If it was from anyone other than Allah, you would find many contradictions in it. Chapter 4, verse 82, um, there's no contradictions in it. Um, that's the, if there was from anyone other than Allah, you would find many contradictions in it. And I would argue that, look, um, we need to look at chapter in the Quran, chapter 112 in the Quran, Surah Ikhlas, say Allah is uniquely one. He is self-sustaining eternal. He
he does not beget nor was he begotten and there's nothing equal comparable to him so this is our belief in Islam in regards to Allah we only worship the creator not the creation and Allah sent prophets and messengers and Jesus peace be upon him is a messenger of Allah Alhamdulillah May Allah bless you guys Assalamu alaikum Madam